So we just Wait. came across this coconut stand and we are gonna get a coconut water. That's a street food you'll see all around Brazil. Mmm, potatoes, a chicken. We've heard from multiple people that it's not safe. Even so. local. Here's picana. It's a cut of beef that's very popular in Brazil. process with putting our passports in the container. They couldn't go anywhere near us. Fingerprints, both of us. Pictures of us. We had to take off our mask for pictures. Let's go check out our place. We have uh, eight floors to go. Okay, so this is our tiny room. It's about a quarter of the size of a typical hotel or something. It's just a bed with enough space on each side, barely to walk. Alex was very surprised by the size. He thought he was getting a little bigger of a room. Yeah, but let's see if we have a view. Hey, a little bit, and we have a free shirt here. Good Oh no. But take a look at this. Not bad. I like all the greenery in Brazil. Even in the middle of a big city, you have like a jungle down there. <laughs> and we're paying about $20 a night for this place. So we have a little mini fridge, sink, microwave, just mini kitchen, mini desk. <laughs> it's quaint, it's cute. In our bathroom. Small as well, but we have a shower, so. And we both want to shower because we are stinky and dirty. We've been flying, <laughs> traveling for two days, about 50 hours straight. So we're going to shower, take a nap, and then we'll show you Sao Paulo, Brazil. We just woke up from a much needed nap. We got showered up and we're ready to go explore Sao Paulo. So this is our first impressions of Brazil first day here. So Sao Paulo is the biggest city in South America so this should be interesting and there should definitely be a lot to see. First up of the day we're getting some coffee at this mall here. We got a couple different coffees. I got a chocolate and this is what like a latte? Yep. That Renzi got. The reason we wanted to film this for you guys is because each of them comes with one of these. We've never seen this before. We just got to Brazil, so we have no idea. So we're gonna see. We don't know how to take this, but what is it? It's like a club soda, so like a carbonated water. I don't know if this is supposed to be before, or maybe you wash it out after with this. Lindsay's gonna try her latte. Look at this sugar she just put in. It's like a crumbly brown, brown sugar. sugar. Mix up the chocolate in this chocolate. Mm. It's not super sweet even with the sugar, but the flavor of the coffee is actually really good, so you don't really need sugar. So we just tried to look it up and it looks like this might be for cleansing your palate. So in that case, I guess you would have it before having your coffee so that you can get the full flavor of the coffee after. Well, I already finished my coffee, so I guess we're doing this a little backwards. We just finished our coffee, so we're good to go for the day, and we're gonna go walk around and explore. Hey, Alex, what are you doing? We're gonna go for a walk around the city. Oh, yeah. 
So one thing we've learned from the locals here is that it's not safe to bring out your camera or your phone like this. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult while we're in Brazil, or at least when we're in the big cities, to film like this. Which is actually really interesting because as you guys know, Alex has traveled all over the world and he has never really felt unsafe while filming. But we definitely don't feel totally comfortable filming. <laughs> Based on just what we've heard, we've heard from multiple people that it's not safe. Even so. locals. Yeah. So sometimes when you go to a new country, you'll hear that it's dangerous, and when you get there, you feel totally safe. But in this case, we definitely see that it could be potential for crime. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, but we're gonna film just little segments on the iPhone for now. While we were researching, we found out that Polista, where we are now, is actually one of the safer neighborhoods. So that's why we can film. Now we're gonna look for some street food. Hopefully we can find some, or at least some breakfast somewhere. Cause it's already about one o'clock. We're a little bit jet lagged. So we just Wait. came across this coconut stand and we are gonna get a coconut water. Big we probably don't have enough coins for that. Okay, we got a coconut. And it was seis, so... About a dollar US. Mm -hmm. How was it? It's good. Uh, so when you're in Sao Paulo, and Brazil in general, you're gonna see these coconuts for sale all over. Mm. Wow, that's good. They just straight so out of there. So refreshing. And Brazil is hot, so this is definitely much cheaper. Okay, so now we're gonna walk around Sao Paulo give you our first impressions. And this is the fifth largest city in the entire world. There's people everywhere. So we're only going to cover a small part of it because it's huge. We're going to start right here. We are in Pakistan. And we're getting a uh, coxinha. So it has potato and a meat. This one is chicken and it's nine. So nine that's about a little under two dollars so it's a street food you'll see all around brazil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. you know this is gonna be good because the grease is coming out of the bottom there it's hot so a breaded little conical ball take a bite mm. Potatoes, a chicken, chicken with some kind of sauce. That's good. So we got this to start and we are on our way to a restaurant to have some lunch. We found out that today is election day, so there are less people out. Also, it's a Sunday, so it's pretty common that a lot of things are closed or closing early on Sundays. But we'll do our best. We're gonna find something. Starting with this one. <laughs> And we'll try to show you some other Brazilian foods. We'll see what we find. We heard Brazilian food is amazing. Everyone raves about the food. So far. Mm -hmm. So one thing we've noticed that we really like about the city is how green it is. It's kind of what you would think about Brazil, like the jungle and everything. But it's cool that even in the big cities, you'll get things like this, like that. Right in the center. All over there. Mm -hmm. They have beautiful jewelry here. Okay, finally, after hours and hours, we are at our restaurant for our first meal of the day. It's probably four o'clock already. And uh, we are gonna get some drinks. I got a caipirinha. And I got a manga batida with vodka, which I think is just a mango fruit juice with vodka in it. And my caipirinha, I got it with kiwi. So, I don't know, we're trying new things, hopefully they're good. They both come with vodka. Uh, we're still trying to figure out some of these words. Like, we wanted to try like a new fruit, but sometimes we don't know if it's even a fruit at all, so we can't just get it and not know. So we're gonna have to learn some of these things. Ordering in a different country in a completely different language is very difficult. We tried to use Google Translate, but a lot of the things don't translate into English. So, sometimes you just gotta guess. We're gonna have to study a little more for tomorrow. <laughs> we just got our drinks. This is my mango vodka drink and Alex's type of This is supposed to 
be a Kuiperinia, I'm not sure if it is or not. It's a kiwi one, but it looks, it doesn't even look green. I don't know, it looks different than the ones we've tried in the past, but... This is strong. This is so strong. There has to has be muscle to it. like three shots in this. Wow. It tastes like straight up vodka. That's probably like a third vodka. That's pretty much all we taste. These are about five dollars each. Wow. We're probably gonna be drunk after this one little drink. Look at that. And Alex can have my cherries. I don't like these. I'll do anything to have something non-alcoholic for a second. Mm. A little break from vodka. Alright, our food just arrived. I ordered a fettuccine with gorgonzola, butter, and filet mignon. Here is picana. So it's, kind of, it's a cut of beef that's very popular in Brazil. Cut with some rice, some fries, and then we're not sure yet what this is. I really don't know, like a polenta or something? Doesn't have a lot of flavor. That's good. That's good. Okay you guys, I am not a big meat person, but I just took my first bite of the filet mignon and it is so good. Filet mignon in the United States is super expensive, but like I said, my dish was only about seven dollars. <laughs> Okay, we just came by this jungle looking place in the middle of the city and it's just this beautiful park unexpectedly in the middle of nowhere. Like right when you walk out here, there's just these super busy streets, tons of people. And then here you feel like you're in a rainforest. <laughs> and it's called uh, Parque Trianon, something like that. Uh, yeah, there's just the road right here, hundreds of cars, and then you have all of these trees. There's probably some wildlife in here, I'm guessing. It smells like the jungle. So, we told you we were going to give you our first impressions, which we kind of have throughout the day, but we just wanted to do a little recap. So, so far, what do you think? The weather, it's kind of hot and humid. Which we like. It's really different than where we've been. The people so far that we've met, all of the people we've met, have been extremely nice. They've been helpful as far as like pointing us in a direction, helping us find restaurants, those kind of things, giving us tips on where to go or how to be safe and not travel with our camera out and that kind of thing. So yeah, Brazilians so far have been great. Sao Paulo is a huge city with lots of people, but it seems very diverse. The food is very good. They have lots of fresh fruits. The meat is good and it's pretty cheap actually for what you get. So we love that. We are always looking for cheap places to travel. And so far, Brazil seems like one of those. We assume that it wouldn't be that cheap because we're in the biggest main city. But if this city shows us anything, then the rest of Brazil should be decently cheap, which is great. So I'd say everything so far that we've experienced is positive. The only downfall is the safety aspect. We don't really feel 100% safe. So. I guess we'll learn how to navigate that in the next few days. So this is the end of this video. We're going to show you more of Sao Paulo tomorrow. See you in the next one. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment, anything, ask us some questions. We'll get back to them as soon as we can. Or if you have advice on what we should do while we're in Brazil, we would love to hear it. Mm -hmm. And then we will see you in the next one.
Teves. Eles leem o jornal deles. Eles leem o jornal deles. Learning Portugal on... Oh, wait. <laughs> Learning Portuguese on the Rosetta Stone app.